Trim, what was the uh, just the emotions going back to the line for those last two free throws? Uh, confident. Um, the, the first one went in and out, second one hit back rim. Um, so I just wanted to find my touch, but I, I was definitely confident going um, back to the line. I'm um, shooting a great percentage from the free throw line this year, so um, I, I was very confident going back. Happy so to be back. The first two felt good then? Yes, sir. On that possession, was the goal always to get downhill, get to the rim, see how it would finish? Uh, it was me and DG. Uh, he's a great shooter um, and a strong side corner. Um, they, they didn't come off of him, um, so the, the next read was to get downhill. Um, and I think um, we executed very well. It seemed like the first half of the game was called a lot differently than the second half of the game. Not asking you to make a, a you know statement about the specific referees or anything, but just is that hard as a player to adjust when when it goes from maybe like a loose to a tight game? I mean, we try to analyze the first five minutes of each half to see um, where it's going, um, just just the vibe and the pace of the game. Um, so we definitely saw the, the first five minutes that they, they were, you know, calling it kind of close as the game was being close. But the first half, it definitely felt like they were letting us play a little bit more. Um, but a tough game, and it got to get caught a, a tough way. So we understood. How much more comfortable are you feeling just in the flow of the game with your teammates now that you've been back for a few games? I think I think my pace was was um, an issue, um, just sitting out for 10 months. Um, but I, I think, like you said, I, as I, I feel like my pace is getting better as it, as it goes. Um, throughout the season, so um, I think I'm getting better every game as, as far as that goes. But I'm um, a great group of guys in the locker room, um, just supporting me and help, helping me make reads and um, just being being there for me as as I get used to the system. When you finally knew you had the opportunity to return to the court, what was that moment like for you after having to wait for so long? I mean, it was great. Um, and I and a couple of my my, my brothers at other institutions, um, we we celebrated as a group. Um, just. Just they don't understand how hard it was, you know, just sitting out and watching your brothers and not being able to be there for them. So it, it was definitely a relief of joy just being back out there and with, with the guys that I, I spent six months with um, since May. So you talked about, I guess, the, the pace. What's it like being, getting out I guess, first in practice and now in games to kind of the speed of how this offense operates? I mean, um, I think the game, game rhythm is, is real. Um, I, I was in practice with them um, every day. Um, as y'all know, but um, just just the, the pace of the of game days are a little bit different um, than than practice. So um, just getting used to the to the pace that I have to play with in a different system as well. Because um, I feel like the Big East pace and, and ACC are, are very different. Um, so just trying to get acclimated to that that pace of the game and just the reads I'm making in a new offense. So. As conference action starts to heat up, how huge was it for you guys to kind of overcome a mental hurdle and just really be pushed to your limits in this one? Well, it's great. Uh, we, we faced a little adversity, and, and I think in our locker room, uh, we felt like we needed it. So um, just just learning that we have a great group of guys that can fight and, you know, um, get, get used to each other as the season goes by with a, a new group of guys. So, um, and I think we're, we're adjusting at a, at a great pace as, as far as um, – conference play coming along. Cody, you're a guy that obviously takes a lot of pride in your defense. How, how do you feel like you guys are playing defensively? Oh, great. Um, I think we have we have slippages um, sometimes during the game. Um, but I think we everybody had each other back. So I think if somebody gets beat off the ball or somebody um, messes up a concept, I, I think we're always, our help side defense is, is what's getting us by. Um, but um, on ball, I think we have we have great defenders and Lala Taylor, me, Taylor Ward. Uh, Jameer, so I, I think it, it makes up as far as our athleticism and, and how we recover from mistakes. This question is for uh, Baba. Earlier in the season, uh, Coach Hamilton had talked a couple times about how when when shots weren't falling from the perimeter, you know, it seemed like it resulted in defensive lapses or a little bit like less intensity. But in this game, you know, three for th for fifteen from three, but no no laps at all. Uh, what what do you think the difference was? This thing showing emotion and hustle on defense and on offense. We just got everybody involved and we just really wanted to win. So no misses or like mistakes got in the way of us trying to get what we wanted to. Bob, that series of plays where they, where you guys miss a free throw, get the rebound and, and you guys had that run without ever leaving the side of the court. How much of that was just desire and, and want to and physicality or what do you think was the key to that? Yeah, that was just going for it. Just going all out, just doing what the coaches ask us to do, crash the boards, be aggressive. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we just did what we're supposed to do. So from here, we just got to keep building off of that and do it more and more.
one of the guys, uh, Coach Ham talks about he loves the guys who are stat stuffers who kind of fill up the stat sheet in all the different ways. Say your, your performance today kind of fits that always. How do you pride yourself on being that, that type of player who can do it all and make an impact in so many different ways? Uh, I mean, I think it's cool. I mean, I just love how the coaches give me confidence to be able to show everything I can do and, and help the team win with all of my tools. And today was one of the games that, that I could really help in that, just being more aggressive on the boards, uh, trying to find my teammates when they were open and being aggressive when I had to. Question for either or both. Um, it seems like every game we get to see a little bit more from Jalen Ganey getting healthier and more comfortable. Um, just talk a little bit about you know his leadership and, and sort of the contributions he brings uh, to the court. I mean, I felt, I felt like, um, you know, outside looking in, because I wasn't playing uh, the first couple games of the season, um, just his presence um, at the rim defensively. Um, he, I don't think he's, he's getting back to blocking shots, but I think that'll come along with it with, with time. But just his presence at the rim and being able to alter shots and then offensively, you know, he's doing a great job of sealing what he's doing with driving lanes and then um, drop offs as was, was the highlight of the day for today. Um, him just being in a darker spot and being able to um, play above the rim. And then um, Janey's a, a great locker room guy, so it, it, he never shies away from, from you know letting us know what we need to do and, and encouraging us in the locker room. Yeah, basically what he said. I just think that him having so much college basketball experience, you really bring something to the team like DG does, like Jane Nick does, like Primo, like Jameer. Like we need that experience to, to be able to keep growing as a team. And now that he's starting to get a little bit better, healthier, like he's really helping us. Bobby, did you, when you got here, was he still healthy? When you, had he had he had the injury yet when you first got here? No, when I first got here, he was, he was healthy. And so, one of the, um, Summer workouts, I think it was. He he got hurt. So yeah. you saw him before the injury. Yeah. <laughs> Man, like I was always saying, like because we used to go to the FSU local gym at the Leech, cause cause they were changing the floor at the gym, and I would always say like Ganey would jump before someone would shoot, and he would still put the ball back in the room. I was crazy. Like, and then I'm just happy that we can see the growth he's having after the injury. Like, he's, he obviously went through a lot, so now seeing him being more involved with the team and be able to be on the court. We're just happy for him. Y'all have a quick turnaround uh, with a with another tough conference opponent coming in. Uh, what what do you do between now and then to get your bodies right, your mind right, and get the game plan? I mean, they, they've emphasized as soon as we got off the court, just getting in the treatment room and, you know, um, just using that and, you know, being having a pro mentality of just um, staying in the training room and um, getting our bodies ready for, for the next one. So um, our coaches are, are on us already. Um, as we speak, so we, we just gotta, you know, apply. Yeah, I was just in the cold tub. That's why I was late. That's my bad. But yeah, we we just gotta take care of our bodies. Just be ready for the next day. Go to film. Uh, just study the game for the next one and and get ready. Last thing, I was just closing out some of these games where you guys have these eight, ten more point leads, and the other team comes charging back. What do you think the key is to not letting it come down to the last? Um, just digging in defensively. Um, I think I think we took good shots um, in that stretch and they, and they didn't fall, but I, um, I think we were a little lackadaisical on the defensive end. Um, just like I said, I, I think our team defensively was, we was, were dominating and I thought we were, you know, hugging our man a little bit um, more than we're, we're used to. So just, just attention to detail and um, just executing our concepts is, is what we have to learn to do in those stretches of the game. Yeah, I think just having voices like Primo, Jalen, DG, uh, Jalen Ganey, like having them talk to us in the huddle to get us locked in, just uh, making sure we're, we're ready to like stop their runs and start one for ourselves is key for us to to be able to go out at those dips. We all set? Thanks, fellas.